Welcome to our home, and this Sunday we're focusing on Earth Day, um, but also Passover, because Passover uh, begins on Monday. Tomorrow. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. So, Earth Day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure everyone is very conscious of, of the need to take care of our beautiful planet and and to do to do whatever we can so i wanted to just share it's a small thing something that i do um so we when we're traveling when we're camping we have our dogs with us and we're usually out um out of the way places and there comes a time when we need to let the dogs out and we can't do that in a usually in the rest areas so we we find little 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 roads that lead, we don't know where, and and we'll take we'll take the roads and and come to a clearing and stop and let the dogs out and maybe get something to eat for ourselves. And mm-hmm. I would say, fifty percent of the time, these little out of the way places where we stop is filled with garbage, <laughs> and people um, people must come as like a gathering place. And they party, they drink, they, there's garbage, right. and I, I can't take it. And I, I always have extra bags and gloves, and I go out and I pick up every single thing, separating the recycling. And as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, you know, they're probably going to come back this weekend, it's probably going to look like this all over again. But for those few days, I want the earth to be clean Mm -hmm. and at the end it is and it's and it's beautiful and there's usually trees around and pine needles or leaves and it's a small it's a small thing it doesn't take me more than maybe 10 or 15 minutes but it's something that that i do and then i and then i always bless the earth i think that we can um there's so many things that we can do to bless the earth, so many. That's just a small thing. And and we just need to do it consistently for our for this beautiful planet. And so today we we honor the earth on, on Earth Day. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so tomorrow is the beginning of Passover. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am not Jewish and I never celebrated Passover, didn't really know very much about it. But I married a beautiful Jewish man who you were bar mitzvahed and grew up in a very traditional New York Jewish family. And our getting married caused a lot of upset, believe me, especially with Barry's parents having him marry out, outside of the religion. So the first the first year that we got married... Barry was in medical school in Nashville, Tennessee. Barry's parents lived in in New York. And Barry's mom sent me a large package. Was was it actually addressed to you? Yes, just to me. (laughs) Now, I've never told anyone this story. It's not written down. I just remembered it today. She sent me a, a, a large package, and I opened it. And in it was matzah and um, other other typical Jewish foods for Passover, and recipes, and a note. And she said, for Barry to be happy on Passover, you must make these dishes. You must do all of this. And you know, I was only 22, and I wanted to be, I wanted to be a really good wife. I just love, I still love Barry, just so much so i took a day off from work which is unusual i don't didn't usually do that i was public health nurse and this was before we became vegetarian and i made matzo ball soup with chicken broth i'd never i'd never done anything like that and i made what did you say, simis or something? Potato carrot simis. I follow, I followed her recipes. Some of my favorite recipes. I got I got I I did everything she said. And Barry came came back from his medical school that day. And there was all this stuff. And 
he looked at me and he, he thanked me, of course. And he said, I don't need that to be happy. I'm really just, I'm really just happy with you. And we can celebrate Passover. We don't need the food to celebrate Passover. We can celebrate it in a very inward way that would really bless our hearts. So I wanted you to speak about that. <laughs> Should I describe all the food? No. no. <laughs> I, I never did that again, by the way. I we, was, we became vegetarian. Now. It's true. It's true. Um, but, but yeah, Joyce is absolutely right. It was, it, it's not about the food. You know, it's, for a lot of people, it is about the food. But really, the essence of Passover is freedom. You know, it's, I mean, they're, it's Moses leading the Israelites out of slavery from the Pharaoh. And, and when I, I mean, really, at the deepest place, um, freedom is a very amazing thing, but it's so much more than physical freedom. Because the highest freedom there is, is the freedom inside. It's, it's freedom from slavery of your mind, really. It's being able to have consistent positive thoughts. You know, I mean, that's that's a really wonderful freedom, and and that's for everyone, no matter what your condition or whatever, right? It's it's to really celebrate freedom, and that's that's Passover. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so we can all do that tomorrow. We can all celebrate Passover in, a, in this beautiful, in, inward way. And you have a beautiful song. Yeah, yeah. I have a nice song. A little, a little one. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Hebrew words are kadosh, Shamayim, Shamayim, Kadosh, which is holiness. It always refers to the sacred, Kadosh. And Shamayim is literally the place in the high heavens where God dwells. I have a little trouble with that because um, there is a temptation, you know, to make God about outside or above or high and and so really for me that highest place that god dwells is within us it's within our hearts it's it is us it's our truest self is shamayim shamayim so so the hebrew words and the melody come from probably traditional but I added the translation, sacred holiness dwelling within us. Within 
now it's up to us if you can close your eyes and feel, feel the truth. The most holy place is within us, around us, above us, below us, beside us, everywhere. But don't forget the within us part. Because who we are are manifestations of the one light, the one God, Kadosh, sacred holiness. Happy Passover. Hmm. That was beautiful, Perry. Hmm. I love being married to Barry. <laughs> and as as the minister that, that married us said, you know, really honor your differences. And um, Barry has brought such a, a richness <laughs> through all your, the Jewish upbringing. And I know- Even without the matzo balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I know I've brought a, a lot of richness. Oh, so much. In, into your life, so too. So much. Honoring the, the, yeah. di the differences. Yeah, so much. So, so tomorrow, um, may we all celebrate Passover in a really beautiful, mm -hmm. deep, inner way. Yeah. And, and may we make every day Earth, Earth Day. Mm -hmm. May we every day look for, for ways that we can honor our Mother Earth. And there's so, so many mm. ways. Mm. Mm. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being so different from me. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>